Hi, you're new, right? I'm Jessica, nice to meet you. Hi, yeah, nice to meet you, I'm Natalia. Is this your first time working at the front desk of a hotel? Oh God, no, I've worked in so many hotels before this that it's actually kind of ridiculous that they made me go through training again. I mean, I already know what I'm doing. Uh-huh, um, well, if you have any questions, I'm here to help, okay? Aw, uh, thanks, hon, but um, I don't think that'll be necessary. Okay, well, um, love the confidence. Hey ma'am, you're all checked in. There are your keys. You're in room 712. That's gonna be on the seventh floor. And then down the hallway, a few doors on your right, okay? There, there are your keys. Um, <laughs> have a great day. Um, hey, Natalia? Bye, ma'am. Yeah? Uh, just as a word of advice, we don't tell the guests their full room number out loud. You can let them know what floor they're on, but you, you'd never want to say their entire room number out loud. Well, then how are they supposed to know what room they're in? Uh, you can write down the room number and circle it for them. I've literally never been told to do that before. That seems like a really tedious process for no reason. Well, it should be standard practice in all hotels that you never say the room number out loud. I mean, what, what if someone with ill intent is listening in? You never know what could happen. <laughs> Everyone's so paranoid these days. Oh, well, unfortunately, due to the world we live in, it is an extremely valid safety concern. I mean, there have been multiple cases of things happening to people because someone overheard their room number. Well, look, you're not my manager and literally no one has told me that that's a rule here. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing cause I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay, well, I just want to let you know that if a manager does overhear you giving away the full room number, you will be in trouble. Okay, then it seems like that's something a manager should talk to me about, not you. Okay, I can help the next guest over here. All right. Okay, ma'am, so you're all checked in. There are your keys. Your room number is 903. It's up on the ninth floor and then to your left. Excuse me, what, <laughs> what do you think you're doing? What? Do you not see that I'm a woman traveling alone? Why would you announce my room number for the entire room to hear? Okay, but like there's no one here, so it's not really that big of a deal. Actually, I consider my safety to be a pretty big deal. So you need to move my room right now. <laughs> Ma'am, we're sold out tonight, so I can't move your room. Let me spell this out for you. I am the highest ranking awards member of this hotel chain. I have been traveling for business four years. It is 4 p.m. I am fully aware that there are other rooms you can move me to. So either you do that or you get me your manager right now. Uh, oh. Well, I, I, uh, I, I can, um, I'd also be more than happy to call my brand representative. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll move your room. I'll just, I'll just move your room and swap it with someone else. <laughs> Good choice. All right, ma'am, I have made your new keys and I have written down and circled the room number. There we go. Thank you. <sighs> All right, and there are your keys. I've circled the room number. Have a great day, bye. Hey, Natalia, come meet me in my office, please. What's up? What did you want to talk to me about? I just got a call from one of the agents who works with the brand representation program that is offered to our highest tier reward members. And I think you know what it was about. I mean, she was just being over dramatic. She was being dramatic. I mean, yeah, like you can't get into a room without a key. So who cares if someone overhears your room number? Be that as it may, unfortunately things have happened in the past, so moving forward, I need you to always be writing down the room number and circling it for the guests. Never say it out loud. Okay, but then like, what if I go through the whole process and then I show the guests the room number and they're the ones that say it out loud, going, oh, I'm in room 903. Well, then that is a guest's choice, but the choices that you need to make always need to be first and foremost with the guest's safety in mind never had to do that before. Well, I don't know about your other hotels, but the training that you just went through for this hotel mandates that you need to be doing it our way. So if you would like to keep your job here, what will you be doing from now on? I will not say the room number out loud, write it down, circle it, and then give it to the guest. That's exactly right. Now you may go back to the desk. Thank you.